Next time we see the stables, I'm gonna switch my horse. Well, we haven't been to the town recently, except for just now, but uh, don't think we'll be returning to Valentine in the short term. <laughs> Are we still within the quest right now? I don't think it's ended yet. Yeah, remember this place? This was our old campsite. Hmm. Downs Ranch. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Can we do some hunting while we're here? Just wondering. There we go. Because I know we wanted a doe. Hey. Is it you? Well, maybe I won't try hunting right now because we're in the middle of a mission. Yeah. Wait, are we crossing over into the bounty area or getting out of it? We're right on the edge right now. We should be going back to the camp to celebrate and whatever if we're getting so much money. Why are we going to this place again? A Mrs. Downs? I don't quite remember that name. Ooh. Up here? Rossi's starting to run out of steam. Where exactly are we going? Oh, okay. We can just cut through. Right here. Oh! Because Strauss told me to visit the wife and the kid, right? Of the man who died? It's the guy that we came to collect from, but he didn't have any money. Hey. A border collie. Hey, boy. So the man passed away. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. Wow. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. You know how Arthur says even he can feel himself going crazy? I'm starting to feel it too. There was no need for him to speak to them like that. Like threatening the son and keeping the mother in black. Oh, Arthur. You're above that. Mother and son, they don't have any more money. How are they gonna eat? Twenty thousand dollars. Loot all the saves. Headshot. Oh, headshot five lawmen, whatever. Get the downs within one minute fifty five. Huh? Good enough. Holy crap. That is a lot of money. 
so much that I don't even know what to do with it. Um, I think first of all, we should just grab every single upgrade we can get. <laughs> right? And okay, this time it was kind of dangerous, but Bill did it. Bill did it. I'm not gonna call him lazy and useless anymore. You don't make a convincing lawman. Ha. Hey. Sorry. Oh, the ring dang do again. Gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Hello. Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They are doing their jobs. Rest of us, but we should hang our heads in shame. Don't ask. They remember to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> Rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. <gasps> I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Yeah, I always sort of got the impression that Karen was a lazy good for nothing because she's always drunk, but she was. she was capable here. I like how Dutch was like, everybody, come around, listen to me. And only four people were here, including me. <laughs> and there was just something so special about that, too, because. All the time, the whole time in the background, Uncle was singing that goddamn Ring Dang Do song. <laughs> oh. And Dutch likes this weird music too. Huh. Bought camp boat. Uh, wait. Total camp funds is still $18? What? What happened to the 10000 The gang share. Just gave it to the rest of the people? Okay, well, can I upgrade any more? No, there's no more upgrades to get. That's it. What am I gonna do with all my money then? Yeah, I guess I'll just um get this upgrade right here for the wagon. I think I'll call it a day. Although we should probably be making these upgrades when we run out of supplies. Because that's when the maximum efficiency kicks in, right? Like, uh, we get the some real variety upgrade for Pearson's wagon once our provisions drop low. That's probably the better thing to do here. Okay. Dang, I got way too much money on me to know what to do with. Seriously. You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah, sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Ah, uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Yeah. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. They did put it together. I was just the helping shooter. That's all. Good work, everybody. Yeah, feeling good about us today. I would love to go hang with Hosea because he's right here, but I feel like we did a whole... We did a few strings of main missions just now, so maybe we want to finally... Finally go, uh, collect this debt, maybe? Strawberry? Oh, we can just take a stagecoach, right? Yeah, we'll go here, take a stagecoach, to here, and then get a haircut, and Strawberry... Is there a barber here? Actually, there might not be a barber here. There is a stagecoach, though. And, um, hmm... Maybe there's a barber here. What does the barber icon look like anyway? Is there a barber icon? Yeah, there is. Right, so there's one in Saint Denis. <laughs> and one in Valentine. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. You have gotta be kidding. 
So if I want to get a haircut, I gotta go to Saint Denis for the time being. Unless if I want to immediately pay off the bounce. 170 dollars? When did this increase? What the heck? Gosh darn it. Okay, well, you know what? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go here. Oh, we can go to the stables here too. Maybe I'll go to the stables first, grab the new horse, and then get the the belongings from the sky, and then head back to Rhodes, and then maybe take the stagecoach to St. Denis to get a haircut, or, I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's focus on this guy for now. Jeremiah. And I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Let's just get a move on and get going, shall we? There he is. Another busy day. Hmm? Not very Uncle's drinking it? again and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just and taking a break. Anyone to not repay it. Hello. But if they don't, you send one of us around to break their legs. I send someone around to encourage them to comply. Man. Yes. Hmm. The way I see it, it's unseemly. I did not take you. For a man of mindless compassion, Mr. Bell. <laughs> oh, I ain't. But I have the good grace to shoot a fella full in the face, not call myself his friend and shoot him in the back. Is that so? Usually. Not always. Oh. Sometimes there's nothing better than shooting a fella who thinks you like him in the back. So, watch yourself. <clears throat> Please, excuse me. I kind of want to leave after hearing that too. How bone chilling. Oh. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Me too. Yeah. That's good. We're getting a good bit of confidence here. Oh, we have the horse station now, right? So does that mean that I can access my other horses here as well? Wasn't that part of the deal here? If I go to the icon... Horse station. Yeah, yeah, retrieve Shire. Oh, perfect! Okay, we don't gotta go to the stables then. Long time, boy. Yeah, it's been a while. How have you been doing? Ah, uh, you- you are so much bigger and bulkier than Rossi. And I'm gonna call you Shire forever. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on here. My plan is to get the- um, oh, hey. You did good in Valentine. You did. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Alright. You did good. You did real good. I just hope word about this doesn't travel back to Rhodes. Hey, did you hear that the deputy sheriff in Rhodes robbed the bank in Valentine? Oh, Hosea's right here. We'll be back for him. We'll be back. But today... Oh, wow, look at the moon. Hey, over here! Over here! Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please! Breaking your shackles? I'm done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. Alright. Better give me something for that. This is crazy. There you go. Oh! oh thank God! Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I... I wish I could give you some money or... Well... You know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jot on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Okay. I like how he asked the sheriff to break him out of here. The first time we came across a prisoner, he just ran away from me because he thought I was gonna kill him. Uh, south of Rhodes? Is it not on the map yet? 
Maybe we'll wait a second. Hey, where are you going, Shire? Just keep out of sight for a bit. Oh, I intend to. Why are you following my horse? Let's go, boy. All right. How about now? Maybe we don't have the area marked, so the icon's not here? Because I assume they would show me where it is if they want me to... Um... Yeah. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh god. Whoa, the bounty area is huge. It's much bigger than I thought it was. Because it even extends into the, the other bounty we got here. Maybe we should get to that too. We've had that one for a long time. For now, let's just get to the Compson homestead. Little deer is here. Um, if we want Pearson to upgrade something for us, we don't have to bring all three pelts back at the same time, right? But I'm wondering, can I give him like, um... Whoa, okay. Because <laughs> I assume that we can't give him the pelt separately, but I'm wondering about the whole rotting thing. If I let him keep it, will it eventually rot? I'm guessing the answer to that is also a no. What is that? Someone start a fire here? Easy, easy. Oh. There's nothing going on. It's just a campfire. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Hello? Sorry, okay, Shire. There. Sorry. There's a gun here. According to the um, map. You worked hard, boy. Whoa, I didn't realize how tall the Shire was. Oh my god. Maybe I'll try the bolt action. Yeah, this one's a little bit uh you can fire it a little faster, but the damage is a teeny bit lower. Sure. Anybody in this home? Oh, whoa. Oh my god. It's been a while, hasn't it? Letter to Annette from Claude. About Harriet. Annette, I did not want to write this letter. I thought I had been clear at the stable, and clear again, when you waited for me outside the general. Harriet was still inside. She still could have seen you. It's a miracle she did not. No, oh, this is about some cheating thing, isn't it? Now, I know I made promises to you, and I know the time we had was good, but Harriet is my wife, and if she's willing to give me another chance, I need to give her and myself that opportunity. I cannot know you any longer. Please stop looking for me in town. Please stop leaving me packages at the post office. Please, for the love of God, please do not approach Harriet. I do care about you, but I cannot have you in my life anymore. Leave me and my family alone. Oh, Fell in love with the wrong person. That man. He doesn't even know what's happened here, does he? He just sent this letter and is like, Oh, well, I did my duty now, so we're done. Bye. Almost makes me want to go find him and tell him what's happened here. Just so he knows what he did to this girl. Don't really want you to just live happily ever after with your wife being like, Well, I did the right thing here and it's all good now. The girl sounded really obsessive though, looking for him in town and leaving packages. Yeah, love makes us do crazy things. Okay, whoa. Did I misunderstand something? Oh. This is their house. This is the couple's house. The girl, Annette, she came in and killed Claude and Harriet and then herself. 
Is that what happened? Oh. Obsessive might have been a bit of a understatement, huh? Usually the sort of cheating thing with the the mistress, so to say, would she continue to reach out to the wife and stuff? Because it seemed like in this case she did. And maybe that was um, a hint as to how obsessive this girl was. Well, so much for telling the husband what happened to the girl. Ugh. Guessing you guys won't be needing your money anymore? Harriet? From the way it looks, it seems like she snuck in here in the middle of the night while they were sleeping on the bed. And then maybe the husband woke up. But uh, they don't have a gun on them, so he couldn't stop her. Dang, and before I came into this house, I thought this house was the... I thought this was Annette's house. I wasn't quite expecting to see this horrid scene here. Hmm. Who's this? Lawrence Dunn? Millicent? Stars of the stage. Well, Arthur, if you don't feel bad about getting money from wives of dead men, then you surely don't feel bad about looting these random dead people too, right? I wonder what's gonna happen to people like this, though. There's not really any neighbors around here, so they're not really gonna get discovered. Okay, well, let's leave before they think I did this, because I didn't. Oh. It was really late at night, so we didn't see the blood stains. But if you were paying attention... Yeah, you can see the tracks on the ground leading to the back and all. Oh, what is with that? Ox? Do you want to be hunted or something? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I was just thinking, we don't need binoculars for this, because it's right in front of us. <laughs> uh, but I want to see what weapon your... Whoa, whoa. It's a Devon Ox. Yields a hide. A horn and a prime beef joint. Long scope rifle. For a clean kill. How much more? Sorry. I sort of feel bad, but it's hunting. That's hunting for you. You're really big, though. I don't know how much of you we can carry. Okay, well, now that we have this, we gotta make time to go to a trapper or bring it back to the camp. Ah! We took the horn, too? Jeez. Oh, that's a poor hide! Is it because I didn't aim very well? I was just shooting everywhere? Maybe. It said use a rifle, right? So I thought that using a rifle automatically means that the hide will be good. But back when we were fighting the bear, didn't it say something like, Oh, you gotta, you gotta make sure to hit the parts that are not crucial or whatever. Okay, boy. Let's go. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Did Claude and Harriet own this entire plantation area? I mean, that wasn't like Grey's or Braithwaite level, but that was pretty good too. Let's show them how free men do some killing. Ah! Just... Guys, I just want to make it past here. You're still alive! Whoa, there's a lot. Wait. There is actually a lot of people here. Ow! Oh! Oh, 
Oh no! Frick! Oh! No! I died to some random Lemoyne raiders on the road. That's sad. Well, it's okay. My shower is okay, right? That's all I really care about. Oh my god, I lost a hundred dollars from that. That's horrible. Dang. Dang. Well, next time I see them, I gotta remember to run away or something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was just not a very good situation, unfortunately. Oh well. We're rich enough right now that a hundred dollars doesn't really hurt at all. That's fine. Yep. Continuing on the way we were going. I think we lost the high just now too. Yeah, it's not on the Shara's back anymore. When you die, you lose the hide. <laughs> the one time I go hunting. And then we lose the hide in 20 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the gods telling me I shouldn't go hunting because I'm not made for that. I'm not made for hunting. Hey. Hold on. Easy now. This is the treasure map place, isn't it? There's a face. Hold on, I'm pretty sure we had a map for this. Must be my lucky day, just randomly coming across things like this. Yeah, after the rain comes a rainbow. After dying comes us finding the treasure spot. Uh, poison chick's treasure map? Oh, it totally is, come on. Wait, you're looking the wrong way. Arthur, look the right way. They give you such a short amount of time to reopen the last thing, it's like, it doesn't even help. <laughs> no, not this one. You want me to follow the tree? Oh, there's something in the tree trunk. Okay. Yeah. This one shouldn't be too hard, right? It wasn't like right on the cliff like the other one. <laughs> Not the greatest place to dismount, but we're okay. Um We could open the map again, or we could just feel around here for the tree we're supposed to be looking for. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. It said, start from here, and then just... Follow the road down, down the hill, and then... If we go down a winding path where there's like a fallen trunk... ...and a tree, there will be things in the... ...the stump. There are some fallen trunks here. Doesn't quite look like the configuration that we saw in the map, though. Who's shooting? Someone's shooting over there, but I'm really just interested in the, the treasure for now. Yeah, if you follow the... Is there another one in the distance? Because it doesn't seem like... Here? Mm. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll check out this guy first. Because he's begging for me to check him out. <laughs> Just in case, if I die or something. Yeah, we are right at... Face Rock. Oh, of course! That's where we find the rock with a face! Hello? I pity my enemies. <laughs> oh, is this a shooting guy? Uh, hey there, partner. You interested in a little friendly competition? Yes! You a shooting man? 
I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? You're not the same guy, but I'll take you on. Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Yeah, so for this one, I think a high reload speed weapon would be really good, which means the pistols. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon to name, we let fly. Previous few times, I've never used Deadeye for this because I felt like it was kind of cheating. But uh, we'll see. see. Oh, we can't use Deadeye for this. Except for slowing down the time, maybe? Oh, yes. Because it's not a living animal. Maybe you were just outgunned. Here you go. As promised. I'll wait for you again. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. This guy didn't raise the stakes. His personality is a little bit different from the previous guy. Because the previous guy was kind of a sore loser. <laughs> Back to looking for the Poisonous Trail 1 treasure here. It's gotta be in a stump somewhere, but where? There's actually a lot of fallen trees in this area. No. You know how it's divided into section 1 and section 2? That tree in section 1 is the same tree in section 2, right? I think so. But what is that winding S path? Like, what is that? Okay, well, well, we'll try following it if we can. I don't feel like we can. But we'll see. Okay. We start with the face here. The face here, the face here. And the tree that it's showing on the map is this one, right? So you want me to go in front of the tree and then do some weird S thing. It's gotta be this one, right? Oh, it is! I just didn't walk to the right place. Oh, okay. $10 and the second map. Whoa. <sighs> Whoa. Uh, I don't know where this is at all, but that seems like it's pretty distinct, right? That circular snake thing in the middle of the grasslands? Maybe we'll know it when we see it. Okay. Yeah! Good job, team! We found a treasure map thingy, after so long, finally. It's a good day today. Maybe getting gunned down was a good thing after all, because maybe without it, I wouldn't have found this place to begin with. <laughs> I mean, we did lose 130 bucks, but silver linings, you know? Silver linings. We got 10 back with the treasure here. And we also got 5 back by facing off against the stranger in yeah. shooting. At first, I really thought that we would never find any of these treasures, but I guess they're usually of pretty distinct places. So eventually, eventually we should come across some of them. Can I keep cutting through here? Is that alright? Make way, piggies. I don't think I need your hide for anything, right? Mainly looking for rabbit hide and deer hide. <laughs> Oh, this is your homestead? We we were here previously. Remember this place? Whoa, oh, it's been completely burnt down now. <laughs> okay. Didn't realize it was you. Compson's watch, pistol, and ledger. These are valuable things. If people repossess the house already, I don't imagine we'll find it here. 
The door's here. Ledger, watch, pistol. Oh, okay, we're just randomly looking at, um, <laughs> the Kentucky bourbon. Ledger, watch, pistol. Canned vegetable. Why not? Always good to never have to go hungry. There was a child's drawing. Family daguerreotype. Haven't heard that word since Life is Strange. <laughs> oh. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, Please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Okay. 1855. Recovery of my property? Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Wait, why are all the names different? It's all Jeremiah, right? But this guy, this one's saying his name is Sam. And then the other one said something Nixon? Is this guy like a professional con artist or something? Yeah, Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. What? Okay. And we also got an empty Kentucky bourbon bottle here. What's really going on? April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Oh, is he just reading it? Because this one is a letter to Mr. Thompson from Nixon. The plantation. He's been laid off from the plantation. That's why he doesn't have a home anymore. Watch! We got it. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. I don't remember the details of this, but was his house repossessed or... Is it just laying in ruins here now or what's going on? That goes by way too fast. Nothing in here. Okay. Where is all this old crap? We're looking for it. The desk seems like a promising place for a ledger. But guess what? It's not here. <laughs> Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Betsy, Jeremiah's wife, has passed away. Gonna guess that's not our Bill. Wife passed away, laid off at job. Not sure on the timeline, but it does sound kind of rough. Oh, the stairs don't even go up anymore. Pa, 
God damn it. I told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Rance? Is that his son? His son talking to him? Yeah, note to Jeremiah from Rance. So Rance is the son. Pa is Jeremiah. Stay away from the boy. Grandson? Oh. We're sort of uncovering their family history here. Or really, just what happened to this guy here. Uh, a trap door, huh? Oh! <laughs> Why would you take a picture of that? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a huh. bitch! That's the pistol oh, we're looking God for. Damn Come on, man. Where are you going? Come on. God damn. That was fast. The other one can wait. Yeah? You think you can beat me because you have a knife? Let me tell you, that is not the case. Squatters. There should be more squatters around here. This is a perfectly fine functioning home. It's a little bit worn, but it's functional. Where is the gun? Oh, it's behind the... <laughs> it's underneath the hat. That's horrible. I don't want to wear that hat. Gotta get this guy away. I can't, um... I can't quite get it. Shove off here. And there's a trap door. Okay. This ugly-ass water hat. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. It's broken. We can have that hat. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. What's the date on this? Eighteen seventy. So he used to work at the plantation because that's where his dad and grandpa worked. And then he lost his job, and then he worked for the railroad, but they've also terminated his employment. Ooh. Just like what we said previously, this is a guy who's fallen on hard times. Can I take away the hat, please? Maybe not right now. Oh, whoa, look at the blood on my shoulder from carrying that guy. Hey, now you bring up the lamp. Shit. What? Wait, there's nothing scary down here, is there? Why did you say shit? Although the chains look kinda... Uh, I'm scared. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice went out. Ugh. June 64. 
This guy was caught by the cops? Do I want to know more? God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Child! Minnie and Child! Negroes recovered in 1856. What? Oh my... This guy's a slave trader. He's selling people, children, mothers and children. Not for that much either. Not that the price is the big problem here, but oh my God. The chains are for keeping people here, black people. Is that why he kept getting fired from his jobs? Or was this like his new job? We just talked about this with Lenny very recently, but people here are still really racist, and... I don't think this guy thinks he did anything wrong. Cause he told us to come here to get his sentimental possessions, including that ledger. He's wearing it like a badge of honor. Oh, then what about the, the letter that was here? It mentions something about how... The... the letter from Rance. Yeah, none of his family want anything to do with him. Because they know what he does. Holy crap. Slave trading is not allowed anymore by this time, right? Even though it's back in the day, we've never come across any sort of slaves and... Maybe people make snide comments here and there, but I haven't seen any black person being treated like that. Uh... I think I need to take back what I said previously about this guy falling on hard times. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta get out of here. Before more squatters show up. I don't think they even realize what the previous owner of this house was doing in this house. And now... Oh, we gotta go back right away. He's right here? Well, that's not too far off. If slave trading is no longer allowed, does that mean that he was first a slave trader and then he worked on the plantation? Or did he do both jobs at the same time? Yeah, I'm not too sure on the, the timeline of that. But either way, did you see how big that house was? We didn't even get to see the second floor, but this guy was kind of rich, wasn't he? From what though? Because I'm getting the impression yep. that he didn't get rich off the plantation or the railroad job. They forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like a shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Rack and ruin. Rack and damn ruin. Hey. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh! I don't know what to think of this. While looking for Jeremiah Compson's possessions inside his family home, the truth of his situation becomes clear. Not quite the guy who fell on hard times like I thought he was. He really doesn't think he did anything wrong. I don't think anyone would get angry if I killed him. But frankly, I don't think we should even waste the bullet. Just let him rot in eternal agony. Wow, that was sort of um unexpectedly heavy quest. 